Hello everyone. Today I am going to do a simple demonstration of CAM network development using ARM Cortex M3 based microcontroller and CAN transceivers. The main goal of this project is to demonstrate CAN bus message transmission between two ECUs, here in this case a transmitter and a receiver. We also get familiarized with LPC1768 board and its different APIs, especially the CAN API. The hardware and software requirements are listed here. We mainly need two ARM Cortex M3 based LPC1768 boards, two MCP2551 CAN transceivers, USB cable, jumper wires, and breadboard. It is recommended to use a 120 ohm resistor between the CAN high and CAN low terminals, but since we are operating at a lower baud rate, it is not mandatory. The switch is also an optional one since we can just use a jumper wire 2 instead of a switch. As far as the software is concerned, I have used embed online compiler to program and flash the board. Teraterm software is used to display the debug messages through the serial port. This project has two CAN nodes, one act as a transmitter and the other as a receiver. And the node structure is shown in the, uh, shown in the figure. We are using an embed LPC1768 board and it has an inbuilt CAN controller as shown in the figure. We connect the transmitter and receiver terminals of the CAN controller um, to the external CAN transceiver and the CAN high and CAN low of that transceiver to the CAN bus. There are microcontrollers without inbuilt CAN controller. In that case, you will have to connect an external CAN controller along with CAN transceivers. Latest boards have both inbuilt CAN controllers as well as CAN transceivers so that you don't need anything external. You just need the board. So this figure shows the pinout of the embed LPC1768 board. This microcontroller in particular is designed for prototyping all sorts of devices, especially those including Ethernet, USB, and the flexibility of lots of peripheral interfaces and flash memory. It is packaged as a small DIP form factor for prototyping with through-hole PCB, strip board, and breadboards, and also includes a built-in USB flash programmer. It has a 32-bit ARM Cortex M3 core running at 96 megahertz, it has lots of interfaces, including built-in Ethernet, USB host and device, CAN, SPI, I2C, PWM, etc. So the pinout shows commonly used interfaces and their locations. And uh, uh, the numbered pins P5 to P30. These pins can also be used as digital inputs and digital outputs interfaces. So in this project, we make use of the CAN interface, that is pins 29 and 30. The MCP2551 is a high-speed CAN transceiver, fault-tolerant device that serves as the interface between a CAN protocol controller and the physical bus. This provides differential transmit and receive capability for the CAN protocol controller and is suitable for 12 volt and 24 volt systems. It will operate at speeds of up to 1 Mbps. The IC package has 8 pins which includes CAN high and CAN low pins as shown in the figure. The circuit diagram is shown in the figure. As you can see, there is a transmitter and a receiver which act as two ECUs transmitter and receiver which act as two ECUs where the CAN interface pins 29 and 30 in the embed board is connected to the transmitter and receiver pins 1 and 4 of the transceiver respectively as you can see here pin 29 and 30 is connected to 1 and 4 respectively and uh, pin number 1 in the embed board and pin number 2 and 8 in the transceiver are grounded here and pins 6 and 7 of both the CAN transceiver ICs are shorted respectively. This green and yellow wire, they are the CAN low and CAN high wires. 
So as I mentioned earlier, a 120 ohm resistor is recommended between the can low and can high pins, but since we are using a lower baud rate, it is optional in this case. This picture shows my finished circuit. You can see two embed boards and two CAN transceiver ICs here in the picture. I have done everything exactly the same as I mentioned in the circuit diagram in the previous slide. I have programmed these transmitter and receiver modules using the embed on online compiler. Um, a brief explanation of the programming is as follows. A counter is initialized to zero and the transmitter is programmed to send the counter value every second and the counter is incremented whenever the message is sent. CAN messages are sent with CAN ID, which is unique for every CAN message, data, which is the counter value in this case, and the data length, which is one byte in our case. The receiver checks for incoming messages and prints it in the serial monitor every 0.2 seconds. So the embed board has four LEDs at the bottom of the board, which you can see in the next slide clearly and they are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. So whenever the transmitter sends a message, I've programmed the transmitter such a way that the LED 1 toggles, and whenever the receiver receives the message, the LED 2 of the receiver toggles. We can, we can see this in the next slide more clearly. So this video shows the working of the circuit. The board on the left is the transmitter, and the board on the right is the receiver. You can also see four LEDs here, which are numbered LED 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. As I explained in the previous slide, you can see that the LED 1 of the transmitter and the LED 2 of the receiver gets toggled in regular intervals. This means message transmission through the CAN bus is taking place between these two ECUs. This video shows the Teraterm software displaying debug messages on the serial port. The window in the top shows the transmitter messages and that at the bottom shows the receiver messages. The transmitter sends the counter status every second and increments the counter as well. So the receiver displays the received counter status. As you can see, the message sent by the transmitter and that received by the receiver is the same. For example, uh, you can see message sent is 239 and here you can see message received is 239 and um, message sent is 223 and here you can see message received is 223 so this shows that there is message transmission through the CAN bus taking place successfully Next, I did a slight change in the previous case. That is, instead of sending a counter value, I sent a switch status through the CAN bus. For that purpose, I connected a switch to pin number 20 of the transmitter embed board. As you can see here, I've connected a switch to pin 20 of the embed board, which goes to the VU USB out um, pin. So this switch is actually optional because you can actually use a jumper wire as a switch where you connect the wire from pin number 20 to the USB out pin. And if it is connected, then the switch is closed. And if you just remove the connection, then the switch is open. You can, you can work it that way as well. So this video shows the Teratum software displaying the switch status actually. Um, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, the top window shows the transmitter messages and the bottom window shows the receiver messages. And uh, so I've closed the switch now and here you can see both the transmitter and receiver showing the switch status as one, C1. Switch status sent is one and switch status received is one. So now I'm going to open the switch. And as you can see, I've opened the switch and now the switch status changed to zero 
the sent status is zero and the received status is also zero. Thus, we made sure that the switch status message got successfully transmitted through the canvas. So here is a brief summary of what I've discussed so far. I've successfully demonstrated message transmission via canvas between two ECUs, where two embed LPC1768 boards act as a transmitter and a receiver. I also got familiarized with the ARM Cortex M3 based embed LPC1768 board, its pinout and various features. Programming was done using the embed online compiler I've used Toratom software to display the debug messages through the serial port and verified the mes message transmission and reception through the canvas was done successfully. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I would recommend to try it on your own as well. Thank you so much.